Data Science for Biologists is an online pilot program that will be run by Sister Nivedita University in Kolkata. The program is going to be dedicated to bioinformatics and we'll talk about the application of data science in biology, biotechnology and healthcare. The program is a result of a collaboration between Sister Nivedita University Kolkata and Pine Biotech. The first pilot course will run for three months. This will include 13 workshops that will be followed by a team project. Out of the 13 workshops, 10 workshops will be completely online and 3 workshops will take place in SNU campus in Newtown. The 3 workshops can be attended online as well from any part of the country. The program will run by experienced bioinformaticians who have experience in both academia and industry. Dr. Pratim Chakrabarti holds a PhD in bioinformatics and Dr. Mohit Mazumdar holds a PhD in computational biology and machine learning. Together, they would be working with faculty and st students in Sister Nivedita University helping understand various types of bioinformatics applications including processing of next generation sequencing data, applications of various analysis tools including machine learning tools and interpretation. This program will be followed by a project where each faculty member and a group of students will be able to prepare and submit a poster or a finished analysis of a project that they have selected. We will start off with a workshop at SNU on 20th of August, where the program will be introduced by the respected VC. The Omics Logic program includes various tools and resources that are provided in the scope of this pilot. That includes online courses, projects, and data sets that are already uploaded on our TBA Info platform. We will also talk about expectations and schedule of the training program, including important deadlines. We will talk about big data in bioinformatics. The topic that we will cover includes knowledge-driven versus data-driven discovery, examples and various applications in biotechnology, agriculture, uh, research, uh, cancer biology, immunology, and various industries like defense and healthcare. In the next call, we will dive into the interesting aspects of genomics. We will talk about the emergence of high throughput experiments in life sciences, how the central dogma of molecular biology that DNA code, transcription of the genes and translation into protein can be measured in a qualitative and quantitative way. We will talk about next generation sequencing, how we can use this technology to detect DNA variants and measure RNA expression. Then we will transition into transcriptomics a section dedicated to gene and isoform expression. In the context, in this section we will talk about the role of pre-processing, various mapping techniques and quantification of genes and isoforms in a sample. In the next call, we will then talk about the analysis of variants, how we can use filtering, noise reduction and normalization techniques to explore large multidimensional data sets more accurately and summarized what we have found using analysis of variants. How can we look at outliers, various techniques, so that we can detect groups and trends in the data. This will be followed by an on-site workshop at SNU on 10th of September 2019, where we will discuss the role of both genomics and transcriptomics in modern biology. Then we will talk a bit more about metagenomics, the microbiome is a hot topic and we will discuss about the reason and the significance of metagenomics including how next generation sequencing of 16S hypervariable region help us understand the composition of the microbe then the taxonomy of the bacteria found in that those specific samples. We will also talk about significance of gut microbiota for human health. In metagenomics 1, we will discuss the various research areas and topics in metagenomics how to practically build a metagenomics pipeline and various methods that are used for interpretation, visualization and analysis of result. In the introduction to machine learning section, we will talk about various supervised and unsupervised machine learning methods. We will talk about regression factors and features and we will also talk about various challenges associated with different types of methods. In machine learning 1, we will learn about decision trees, discriminant analysis and support vector machines. We will use feature selection and then we will talk about how do we expand the number of features that we want to include in our analysis. We will talk about dimensionality reduction and various data visualization techniques. 
finally we will come to a stage where we can transition from theoretical learning and hands on from a described data set to a new data set or an independent project here we will talk about identification of correct data set for a bioinformatics project this will help us plan a team project as we embark the analysis journey significant time will be allocated for team projects and throughout we will meet and discuss the selection and preparation of various project components on the next day that is on 25th of october we will have a workshop which will have q and a session with students and faculty and then transition to poster preparation guideline the topic that we are going to cover in this workshop is multi omics data analysis in cancer research the hands on sessions will be conducted online and offline and will be led by dr pratim chakraborty and dr mohit mazumdar throughout the program each student will have access to our online learning platform that contains courses project examples and also helps monitor progression so that each person can look at their progress by looking at the various courses that they have completed and the points they have accumulated in the process of doing various tasks associated with these courses even now the topics we have covered might sound technical and complicated but you don't need to be worried because we have a fully interactive online platform that anyone even with the most basic computer skills can use that means that complex bioinformatics methods running computationally intensive pipelines and visualization of results can be done in a simple point and click interface for those that have followed the program and have completed the necessary material a certificate of participation will be offered once finish the program we are also planning for a joint conference with sister nivedita university where the participants of the data science for biologists will be given a platform to present poster and give small scientific talks we hope that you will join us for this exciting course in data science for biologists we are excited to work with sister nivedita university kolkata to introduce bioinformatics to a wide range of students and faculty and see how together we can develop impactful project to help understand the application of bioinformatics today in various domains including healthcare biotechnology biochemistry and the application in agriculture neuroscience oncology and immunology